Hi, welcome to this What's Up Wednesday post for February 28th, 2024. I have a few things to share with you, things that are going on in my writing life. Um, not a lot, but a few. A couple of them are housekeeping type things, and the other one is a little bit exciting. So let's get into it. The first thing I wanted to remind you of is the month is ending tomorrow. So today and tomorrow are the last days for you to be able to pick up on any of the sales books that are available this month. You can find them on leadybrown.com and look for the um, menu item current book promotions. All the information, links, and all that will be there. You'll also find on that page the um, name and information about the Ream story, the free read that's on Ream this month. I think it's a battle of wit and words. Um, that is on there to read for free until tomorrow. And after that, it'll switch to a different book. So um, there's a link for that over there too. It's reamstories.com slash Lainey Brown. Um, and you do have to put in an email address to um, sign in to get to the area where you can read that. Um, the other thing that I wanted to tell you about was um, Monday, this coming Monday, I will have a post over on the Sci Worthy Romance Tea Room Substack. That is a substack that um, I do with my writing friends Rose Fairbanks and Zoe Burton and we take turns each month posting and this happens to be my month. So it's my turn to post. I'm on there both as Lini Brown and as Annalie. Um, Annalie is my other pen name. She writes contemporary Christian romances set in a fictional small town in Nova Scotia. So you can expect her probably to be posting this month because she just finished a book and that book is going to be coming out in March. So um, I'll probably be sharing something about Nova Scotia on Monday. I don't know for sure what it's going to be yet because that is the next item on my to-do list after getting this video ready for you guys. So make sure you stop by on Monday over there. It's the tearoomcrew.substack.com. And um, I'm sure there'll be pictures of Nova Scotia and something about where I live there. Okay, then we get to the exciting bit of news for Lini. Um, for those who like to read Lini stories, there is a new one that I've started. Um, this will probably be a sweet possibilities book when it is done. Um, but it is tied into the book that you see on your screen, An Accomplished Lady of the Best Sort. And when I was writing that story, I got to the end and I was just doing some close-up stuff. And there was a sentence that I wrote about how between where the characters were and where I was going in the next paragraph, there would be troublesome relations and former friends that would have to be endured and a few other things that um, would happen between where we were and where I was going to tie the story up and make sure everybody knew that everyone was happy. Um, that sentence made me think, man, there's probably a story there that would be really fun to tell. So that's the story I've started. Since the book that it ties in with is called An Accomplished Lady of the Best Sort, the new story is called How to Marry an Accomplished Lady Without Losing One's Mind. So it is, um, I think, going to be a fun story to tell with, you know, ridiculous relations and troublesome friends trying to get between Darcy and Elizabeth, who are already together because they got together in An Accomplished Lady. Um, and Accomplished Lady is all told from Bingley's point of view, and the new book will start in Darcy's point of view. So the first chapter of the new book and the last chapter of the previous book will have some overlap. There'll be some things that are copied directly over from the first book into the second book because, you know, like things that were said in the conversation, they really can't change. Those are facts that need to stay the same, but they're told from a different point of view. So you'll get some of um, Darcy's thoughts interspersed rather than Bingley's thoughts 
as we go through that little bit of conversation. Um, part of it will probably just be summarized too because maybe Darcy doesn't pay attention to the whole thing. I haven't read, written all of that part yet. I just barely started it yesterday. I'm about, I don't know, 800 words in so far. That's it. So it's not very far, but um, I've done a little bit of pre-planning. I'm not an outliner. I don't do a lot of pre-writing stuff. I do a little bit and then I start writing and then I get to know the characters and they kind of tell me what the plot is going to be. So um, yeah, it's kind of an exciting stage right now to figure out exactly what all is going on. And in about, I don't know, 10,000 words or so, I'll be thinking, ah, what am I doing? Because that always happens too. But um, it's just my writing process. It's the way that my mind works the best for doing writing. Um, I know not everybody does. A lot of people have to have outlines, detailed outlines even. I can't do that. So there's no formal outline for that. It's just, this is what I think we're going to do and let's see if it happens. There is some sort of glare on my glasses through this whole thing. I've been trying to move around to get away from it a little bit. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Could be one of the lamps that I have on. It's a cloudy day here today. We're supposed to get quite a bit of rain and some wind. Um, maybe it'll wash away the rest of the snow that's out there. But that could make things kind of a little bloody. So hopefully it won't be too, too horrible. Anyway, that is it for me for today. Remember to go check out the books that are on sale so that you don't miss anything because the month is ending. And make sure you come and join me on the Cyworthy Romance Tea Room on Monday. Oh, and about that, there's going to be an event over there that you have to be a subscriber in order to attend. And I'm supposed to be getting in the mail one of the prize, one of the items for the prize pack that we'll be giving away to um, someone. So um, I'm a little excited to see that. I've been looking out the window, windows just behind me over there, um, watching for the UPS guy to see that um, I can see the uh, delivery when it comes. Anyway, and that's it for me today. I hope you're having a good Wednesday. Until next time, happy reading.